Hello guys, Red Maiden here. Today I'm going to show you my method of levelling Bosnius and Minor from level 60 to level 70 within the Stormblood expansion. To do this, I use the collectible method of collecting items at a high collectability rating to turn in for EXP. The nodes that I use personally were unspoiled nodes on a set time spawn basis that allowed me to set a rotation so I could get items from the node as well as level up other jobs, classes etc at the same time. The items that I'm talking about can be found here at the Collectible Appraiser. The top three items, the Beach Branch, the Bamboo Shoot, the Lotus Root, as well as the Raw Triphane, the Raw Star Spinner and the Raw Zorite can be found around the new zones at set times for a period of two hours. This allows for you to hit every node on time and maximise EXP income. You will notice that assigned to these uh, items there is a level. This is a level which is required for you to be able to access this node, however the collectability rating does not change. I'm now going to cut to each zone individually and show you where the nodes spawn and reiterate the times and the slot that you need to hit to get those items. So we're here at the Ruby Sea. The first item that we're looking for is the Raw Star Spinnel. It spawns at 12am and 12pm respectively and can be found in this area here. It's contained within slot 8 and requires a collectability of 450 for you to be able to turn it in for EXP. So we're here in the fringes. The next item of interest is the raw triflane. It spawns at 2 o'clock a.m. and p.m. and lasts for a period of two hours. It can spawn at this ridge here and is contained within slot 6. This also requires a collectability rating of 450. So we're here at the Azim Steep. This is a final place for Miner. The item of interest in this area is the raw azorite and can be found against its leftmost wall here. It spawns at 4 o'clock both AM and PM for a period of 2 hours and can be found within slot 7. This also requires a collectability rating of 450. We're now in the fringes and we swapped over to botanists. The item that we're going to be looking for now is the beach branch and can be found in this area here. It spawns at 6 o'clock both AM and PM for a period of 2 hours and can be found in slot 3. This also requires a collectability rating of 450. Finally we're here in Yanixia. This is the final zone because the last two nodes both spawn within the same zone, one after another. The first node spawns within this area here and is the Lotus Root. It spawns at 8 o'clock AM and PM respectively and can be found within slot 7. It requires a collectability rating of 450. The final node within this zone can be found down here. This is called the Bamboo Shoot. This spawns at 10 o'clock AM and PM respectively and is contained within slot 8. This requires a collectability rating of 450. We are now back here in Rust Reach, ready to turn in our collectible items for EXP. If you are unfortunate enough to only get two collectible items per node, this will equate to just under 1.5 million EXP which has been obtained within the last 12 game hours. This of course can be repeated and allows for you to engage in other activities such as crafting. An advantage of this method also includes the generation of Red Gatherer scripts. Along the way you'll have more than enough Red Gatherer scripts to obtain all new folklore books ready to tackle the legendary nodes once you are geared. I hope that this guide has given you the information you desire, allowing you to level your bosses and miner in the most efficient and effective way. In the comments section I will post a level by level rotation which will allow you to maximise your EXP income.